everyone i am here with another video on my youtube channel to help you learning english the specific purpose of my video is to read a story help you improve with your english comprehension and explaining the word we read in the story let's go start chapter two the strange cousin the children's aunt have been watching for the car she came running out of the old wooden door as soon as she saw it draw up outside. The children liked the look of her at once. Welcome to Karen, she cried. Hello, all of you. It's lovely to see you and with big children. There were kisses all round and then the children went into the house they like it it felt old and rather mysterious somehow and the furniture was old and very beautiful where georgina asked and looking round for her unknown cousin oh the naughty girl i told her to wait in the garden for you said her aunt now she is going off somewhere i must tell you children you might find georgina a bit difficult at first she is always been one on her own you know and at first might not like you being here but you mustn't taking notes of that she will be all right in a short time I was very glad for George's sake that you were able to come. She badly needs other children to play with. Do you call her George? asked and in a surprising. I thought her name was Georgina, so it is, said her aunt. But George hates being a girl and we have to call her George as if she was a boy the naughty girl went answer if we call her georgina the children thought the that georgina sounds rather exciting they wished she would come but she didn't their uncle quentin suddenly appeared instead he was a most extraordinary looking man very tall very dark and with a rather fierce frown on his wet forehead hello quentin said daddy it's a long time since i've seen you i hope these three children disturb you very much in your walk quentin is working on a very difficult book set and funny but i've given him a room all to himself on the other side of the house so i don't expect he will be destroyed their uncle looked at the three children and nodded to them the frown didn't come off so i don't expect he will be destroyed their uncle looked at the three children and nodded to them to frown didn't come off his face and they all felt a little scared and were glad that he was to work in another part of the house where is george he said in a deep voice go off somewhere again said and fanny vexed i told her she was to stay here and meet her cousin she went stinking said uncle quentin the children couldn't quite make out whether he was joking or not well children i hope you have a good time here and maybe you will knock a little common sense into george there were no room at current cottage for mother and daddy to stay the night so after a hurried supper they left to stay at a hotel in the nearest town they would drive back to london immediately after breakfast the next day so they said goodbye to the children that night georgina still hadn't appeared i am sorry we haven't seen georgina said mother
Just give her our love and tell her we hope she will enjoy playing with Dick, Julian and Aunt. The mother and daddy want the children felt a little bit lonely as they soon the big car disappeared around the corner of the road. But Aunt Fanny took them upstairs to show them their bedrooms and then Sound forget to be said. The two boys were to sleep together in a room with slanting ceilings at the top of the house. It had a marvelous view of the bay. The boys were really delighted with it and was to sleep with Georgina in a smaller room where windows looking over the Morse at the back of the house. Wooden door is a solid or composition door made primarily from a wood. It can enhance home design and private installation. Or oh, the refuse to something not young or no, it has been already for a hell. Furniture. It means like chair, table, and sofa used for sitting or decorating a room. Beautiful describes something visual, pleasing, or attracted. Naughty girl, naughty girl behavior that is mischievous. verse. Naughty girl behavior that is mischievous or disobedient. Garden and outdoor aren't with plant flowers and sometimes a love. Difficult something that is now easy. Gladdy feeling happy or pleased about something. Badly in a poor or unsatisfaction manner. Destroyed, interrupted or bothering someone. Room or space within a Building often used for a specific purpose. Frown, a thief expression showing displeasure. Spanking, a form of punishment. Involving hating on the buttocks. Hope, feeling optimistic or desiring a positive outcome. Knocky to strike a surface to get someone's attention. Hotel, a place where travel stay overnight. Bedrooms, rooms in a house where a people sleep. Sad, feeling unhappy or sorrowful. Sleep, restaurant, stand when the body is inactive. Slanting ceilings, ceiling that slope or tilt. Bay, a body of water partially enclosed by land. Delighted, feeling extremely pleased or satisfied. Openings in wells with glass for light and ventilation. Chapter 2. The French cousin, the children's aunt, have been watching for the car. She came running out for the all old wooden door as soon as she saw it drawing up outside. The children liked the look of her at once. Welcome to Karen. She cried, hello all of you. She is lovely to see you and what big children. There were kisses all around and then the children went into the house. They liked it. It felt old and rather mysterious somehow and the furniture was old and very beautiful. With Georgina asked and looking around for her unknown cousin. Oh, the naughty girl, I told her to wait in the garden for you, said her aunt. No, it's gone off somewhere. I must tell you, children, you might find George a bit difficult at first. She is alone, being one on her own, you know, and at first, my no like you being here, but you mustn't take
any notice of that. She will be all right in a short time. I was very glad for George sake that you were able to come. She badly needs other children to play with. Do you call her George? Asked and in surprise, I thought her name was Georgina, so it is, said her aunt. But George hates being a girl, and we have to call her George as if she was a boy. The naughty girl won't answer if we call her Georgina. The children thought that Georgina sounds rather exciting. The, they whispered she would come, but she didn't. Their uncle Quentin suddenly appeared. Instead, he was a most extraordinary looking man, very tall, very dark, and with a rather fierce frown on his weighed forehead. Hello, Quentin said, Daddy, it's a long time since you we see you. I hope that the three children would disturb you very much in your work. Quentin is work, working on a very difficult book, said, and funny, but I dig, I, but I give him a room all to himself on the other side of the house, so I don't expect he will be destroyed. Their uncle looked at the three children and nodded to him. The front didn't come off his face, and they all felt a little scared and were glad that he was to walk in another part of the house. Where is George? He said in a deep voice. Going off somewhere again, said the aunt Fanny. Vixen, I told her she was to stay here and meet her cousin. She wants Pinky, said Uncle Quinton. The children couldn't quite make out whether he was joking or not. Well, children, I hope you have a good time here and maybe you will make a little common sense into George. There was no room at Curran Cottage for mother and daddy to stay tonight, so after a hurried supper, they left to stay at the hotel in the nearest town. They would drive back to London immediately after breakfast the next day, so they said goodbye to the children that night. Georgina still hadn't appeared. I am sorry we haven't seen Georgina, said mother, just give her all love and told her we hope she will enjoy playing with Dick, Julian and Aunt. Then mother and daddy went. The children felt a little bit lonely as they saw the big car disappeared around the corner of the road. But Aunt Fanny took them and upstairs to show them their bathrooms and they soon forget to be sad. The two boys were to sleep together in a room with slanting ceilings at the top of the house. It had a marvelous view of the bay. The boys were really delighted with it and was to sleep with Georgina in a similar room. Boys Windows looked over the most at the back of the house. At the end of the video, I would like you to summarize the story we read today and leave your summarize in the comments below. I look forward to reading your summarize. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.